Hi, it's Chris from QMSA. I'm going to run through setting up a job within your QMS. You're going to need to do this in order to pass your PAS 2030 assessment. Um, you can either do it based on a real life example of work you've completed or you can enter dummy information into the system and basically just run through the process to demonstrate that you've got something there when the inspector comes to do the assessment. The first thing you'll need to do is click on the job management system tab you can see here, here's some I made earlier. Um, test 5, we'll have a look at this job and I'll run you through the process that you need to follow. Okay, in real life you'll click Start a New Green Deal Job and the first tab you see will be Details for the Job. First thing you need to do is select the measures um, which will be installed against this job. I've got EWI in there already. Um, maybe I want to add in some loft insulation easy as that, I can add in loft insulation. It's going to ask me for details of a location and a priority. Now I've said loft is priority 2, this is because if I open this one up I've got external walls priority 1. So external walls going on first and then loft second. This is a requirement to record uh, as part of PAS 2030. If I minimize these, because I've got more than one measure I need to detail the effects that these will have on each other. Uh, and the energy efficiency of the property. Just so we can get through this quickly, I'm just adding in a couple of lines here. You need to add in a bit more detail to this, how they will impact on each other and the property itself, but this is just for an example for you today. Uh, I've called this job reference test 5. I've added a Greendale advice report number. Remember, we're just running through a dummy job, so you can enter any information here that you want to. Any number will do. And run through a, cost, a customer, example customer John Smith. I've added in a test provider to my provider log and selected them to process this job. You'll see here there's a tick box to say that the details above have been provided as part of the provider's design. Um, that may be the case, uh, in which case tick this box to let um, the inspector no. Click to save all details. So it kicks me back out to the job listing. The job we're working through is test 5. So if I open that one out, you will then see when you run through this job that the survey and quote tabs open. Each of these measures will now present you with a list of questions that you need to answer. I've left all these as yes, but you'll need to answer yes, no, non applicable, and add in any relevant notes. Uh, a manufacturer, an appliance, and a cost for the installation. You'll need to do that for both measures. Okay. Again, if the survey is being completed by the provider, you've got the option to tick this button to signify that. Um, I'm saying that we're doing a survey ourselves, so I've selected a date, <coughs> I've selected an operative to do the survey. And I've answered all of the relevant questions. These are all part of PAS 2030, so you need to complete this section. You'll see I've got the option to resend to the provider. Clicking this button will send all of the job information so far, so the customer details, the costs, and the survey responses to the provider for approval. What will then happen is that we receive an email back from the provider telling us that it's been accepted. In this case, I've said that Joe Bloggs, one of the representatives, has accepted the job and it was confirmed on this date. Once I'm happy with that, I can go to my next section, which is the method statement. So for each of these measures, I've now got details of the, the make, the model, um, a step-by-step -step method requirement. I've got an equipment list and checking, handling, and storage. These are all requirements of PAS 2030, and we've built this into the system for you. So what you need to do at this point is select when the measure will be installed. I'm saying the 27th. I'm going to be the supervisor. There's no intermediate inspection required. The provider's not asked me to do that, and I'm not doing one myself. Then I click to complete method statement and send to supervisor. Now, if I'm able to come out of this and just click down to the bottom of the screen here. I've just received an email I'm putting on here. This is a, a complete method statement that's been sent through. 
So this is what your supervisor will receive before going to site and ticks all the boxes for, for PAS 2030.